Hello guys, how are you today? Well, what to say? Um, MiG-29 Fulcrum C913 148 scale from Great Wall Hobbies. Um, this one I, I couldn't resist. Each time I went to my shop, um, well, it's here now. You know what I mean? You just have to give an eye to it and uh, I want to bring it on but uh, bring it home but well it is now. MiG-29 in the late 1960s um, as you know United, United States Air Force started to develop a um, requirement for um, an advanced air superiority fighter based upon the lessons uh, being learned in the Vietnam you know and because of the menace of MiG-23 and MiG-25, if, if I'm not mistaken. That one led to the F-15. And that F-15, this MiG-29, is the response to that uh, program. The F-15 is an air superiority fighter, and this one is designed to shoot him down. Uh, Great Wall of Hobbies is, uh, as you know, a kit manufacturer from China. He has been producing a number of uh, great kits, great subjects. Um, this release here uh, has been produced by several companies previous, previously, I think. I think. Um, the best MiG-29 I saw until now is the Edward boxing of the Academy MiG-29. So. I, I don't know what to say, you know guys, Academy did a very good job on the MiG-29, Edward came, reboxed it, almost twice the price. So, uh, what to say, this one has a very good, and I believe me I watched it, a nice detailed cockpit, instrument panel populated with um, individual instrument face uh, details, decals, which are very good. Uh, it has um, a very good ejection seat with photo edge air assist, if I'm not mistaken, is the K-36DM that they use. Uh, yeah, we use the Martin Bakers and uh, they use the K-36DM. Um, it has positionable canopy, um, choice for open or closed auxiliary in inlets, um, closed FOD covers intakes also. A nice dorsal chaff and flare launcher. It has a very good detail. Um, positional stabilizers, uh, leading trail edge flaps or slats, like you want to call it, and positionable landing gear. It has on a box apart two R27R, uh, the AA10 Alamo, four R17s, uh, the AA11 Archer. Archer Archer, uh, two central underwing tanks and one center line fuel tank. Do I read well or what? Let's see what this has, okay, here to offer us. Okay. Let's see. We open a box without any kind of difficulty. Hmm. Look at this. On closed box you got all this and then you do this and you get this kind of detail sorry oops I mean, okay guys, this is a kit that uh, several modelers has done in box reviews on it. And uh, I'm sorry, I don't want to piss anyone, piss off anyone, but uh, I usually don't do in box review. But if I, if I was going to think, oh, that one made one, then that one made another, I would never ever made an in box review, box review. So 
I think you understand, right? Now, the best, I mean, the damn coolest thing I have ever seen and someone uh, is thinking right now, ooh, exaggeration. No, it's not. On a kit, so far, without photo edge. My hands are, yes. This. This is like someone would say modeling porn because look at this detail. Look at it. Now, look at this. Tell me, guys, is this a superb engine or not? Again, this is amazing. Amazing. Hey, and we have two. <laughs> okay, guys. Now, it's the first time I'm opening this one, so. See? It's amazing detail. Now look at this again. Ah, no, I have to take this plastic off because I just want you to see. Again, I know that uh, all of you have already seen it, but um, hey, it's my outbox review, and I am enjoying just watching the details of this one. I can tell you right now. I would do it, but I'm not ready yet to do another of these super kits. But guys, you have to admit this detail is astonishing. Who wants photo edge? Tell me now, tell me. This small piece here that I don't know for what it is, but <laughs> amazing, amazing kit. Now, wing pylons again, if you want to see it, it has several. Let's just take this one and. Uh, Please, enjoy. It's an amazing, amazingly detailed kit. And And um, this part here, this box here, 
What does it bring? It brings this. This is a pre-shade and wash dream. Okay. Those of you who have um, the lock-on game, it is a very good simulator, flight simulator from DCS Productions. I have them all here. Uh, the Lock-On, the Flaming Cliffs, Flaming Cliffs 2, Flaming Cliffs 3 and the DCS A10 which um, Warthog, which I can show you uh, this one from this company here DCS, you know and um, this comes, I'm talking about you for this, about this, why? because those of you who have that, the, the simulator on the SU-27 and on the MiG-29 you have on the cockpit a tube a very rough tube that goes out the cockpit it's this one here even this is recreated so let's place it here again with a lot of careful because I don't want to make the miracle of multiplication <laughs> oh, you know what? I, I never. Some sensors, the antennas. I never saw this before. Oh, and I love this. Oh, I'm so framing this one. Now, this says it all. Great wall hobby. This says it all. I am, oh, I am so framing this one. Beautiful. Just beautiful. I mean, this one, <laughs> in a few days it will be on my, on my room, but the kit, it will be made, but... Okay, photo edge, photo edge, decals and all. I never saw, um, honestly, I saw you talking, you guys talking about the 148. Uh, I never saw a review of it, to be honest, uh, never. But... Nice photo edge detail. Stencils and missile. Ooh. There it is. Very, very beautiful. Very beautiful indeed. And, uh, well. This is one of those kits that um, you have to do it slowly. Instructions. Colorful instructions. Even the cockpit, they teach you how to paint the cockpit. Look how you insert the engines. Photo edge part in yellow. Well done. Well done. All photo edge LPE sets and parts are in yellow. And beautiful. Right. Let me see something. Ha! Huh. I don't know which one to. Yeah. Damn. 
Well, it's almost the same. I believe this one with this yellow and black. It is something. Great Walls has always surprised us with some kits that the market is not just not um, as common, you know what I mean? Clear parts. Clear. Let me see this. Oh, even this is protected with a, a plastic sheet. Ooh. The attention to the quality detail is amazing. Ah, no. I am asking a replacement part for this one. Look at this. Frustrating, isn't it? Frustrating. Hey, I'm not leaving. I'm not letting this piece here ruin all the kit. This happens. I am asking for a replacement. So, in a few days, you, I hope I give you a nice opinion about customer service, but from China, <clears throat> I don't know, let's see, but this is frustrating, but I'm not letting this to ruin all the, you know, hey, I know a few of them. I know a few of guys, a few guys that uh, are laughing right now, but uh, you can laugh at your own will. It's an amazing kit that I can show you. So guys, this is not a cheap kit. It cost me uh, back then 80 euros. Uh, yeah, I guess not, not 80. But yeah, around 80 euros, and um, well, it's not cheap. Okay, I give you that. Yes, but we have to lose our heads sometimes, right? And uh, like a friend of mine said, like Ian said, well, yes, we're addicted to styrene, but um, there are worse, far worse addictions. Despite you don't ruin your money more than you hope, more than you earn, for me, no problem at all. And that with me doesn't happen. Believe me. No, let me just place this and uh... so, guys. This is my. Let me just. Place this, as you can see. So, MiG-29, Fulcrum C913. 148 scale, great wall hobbies, a great and amazing kit. And truly amazing kit. Sorry. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, outbox review. Very modest. Uh, other channels did it very well. It's just for me. It's just my opinion. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Okay. See you soon. Keep modeling and stay tall.